University denies wrongdoing after student died during pancake contest. A Connecticut university has denied it was at fault after a student choked to death during a pancake eating contest on campus in 2017. Caitlin Nelson, 20, was participating in Sacred Heart University's Greek Week celebration on March 20, 2017 when she began choking. The sorority woman fell to the floor and started shaking uncontrollably after eating multiple pancakes in a short period of time. Lawyers for Sacred Heart University blamed Nelson's own actions for her death in court documents filed Tuesday in response to a wrongful death lawsuit brought by Nelson's mother, who was seeking an undisclosed amount of money. Roseanne Nelson is accusing the Catholic school of approving the contest despite the dangers and failing to provide adequate medical personnel. Roseanne filed a lawsuit against Sacred Herd in October, saying she wanted to raise awareness of the dangers of amateur eating contests. She said responding officers who treated Nelson found a mass of pancake paste like concrete in her airway. The official cause of death was asphyxia due to obstruction of airway by bolus of food. Nelson passed away at Columbia University Medical Center three days after the event. Nelson, whose father was a police officer killed in the September 11 attacks, received a hero's escort by Port Authority Police as her body was taken to the New York office of the Chief Medical Examiner's Office. Witnesses at the Greek Life Dinner said Nelson had eaten about four or five pancakes when she suddenly fell to the floor and started shaking uncontrollably. Two nursing students who were there immediately began life-saving measures and were quickly joined by police officers and paramedics, Fairfield Police Lt. Bob Kilimorais said at the time. Nelson was taken to a hospital in Bridgeport in critical but stable condition and transferred to New York Presbyterian slash Columbia University Medical Center, where she died days later. Columbia said Nelson suffered from food allergies but that they did not contribute to her death. It's a tragic event that started out as something fun, Columbia said. It was just a tragic accident. Nelson was studying to be a social worker and was the vice president of her sorority, Kappa Delta. Several thousand people gathered on the Sacred Heart campus after the tragedy to remember Nelson and share their grief. A mass dedicated to her was followed by an impromptu candlelight vigil. Nelson's father, James Nelson, was a Port Authority of New York and New Jersey police officer. The 40-year-old was killed while trying to rescue people trapped on the 27th floor of one of the towers. He also went into the smoking World Trade Center to rescue workers during the 1993 bombing, despite having asthma. His obituary said he was survived by two daughters, 11-year-old Anne and 5-year-old Caitlin. The Nelson sisters volunteered with the Resiliency Center of Newtown, helping survivors of the Sandy Hook school shooting deal with their loss. Nelson was also involved with America's Camp, an annual retreat for children of 9-11 victims.